How many times have you heard about question paper leakage prior to start of the examination activity? There are various news coming across India, across multiple universities that there was question paper leakage happened for X subject or there are question paper leakage happened for couple of subjects. Paper, question paper was leaked on a WhatsApp or question paper was leaked on a social media. Question paper generation and distribution across examination center is an Herculean task that need to be managed by education institution or university. Technology can help you to simplify that question paper generation as well as delivery in a secure manner. So today I am going to share how you can use technology in order to simplify your question paper generation and delivery to the respective examination center. So stay tuned. Examination management or conducting exam is one of the key academic tasks for any education institute or university. And it is responsibility of the university to conduct that examination process in a fair manner. So while conducting that examination process, question paper generation and delivery of that question paper at a respective examination center in a secure manner is one of the key criteria of success for the academic institution. You can use technology to simplify that uh, question paper generation approach. So there are various entities involved in question paper generation as well as distribution to the respective examination center. So first key entity is subject matter expert. So subject matter expert is an entity or a person who need to define the question bank associated with respective subject topic or subtopic. So this is the first step. So if you want to define the examination paper, you need to have a question bank of the respective subject topic, subtopic readily available in your question bank pool. So subject matter expert is a person who can use the online system to define various questions associated with particular topic along with their respective difficulty level or type of the question whether that is subjective question, objective question, multiple choice question or even what are the marks associated with that question. So if you consider manual scenario, uh, subject matter expert might need to type those questions, subject matter expert might need to define those pool of questions and there will be bunch of papers available. But if you use technology, then online question bank management facility available within a Columbia platform can help you to define that question bank that will be readily available in an online cloud system. And all those questions will be saved in an encrypted format. So while defining your uh, online examination question paper, you can take into, into consideration those question bank full defined by the various subject matter expert. And you can allocate multiple subject matter expert for various subject as well as topic. And you can keep on updating or adding new questions within that question bank management system. So now considering that your question paper question bank pool is readily available. Next key task is setting a question paper. So in this case question paper setter is a role or that is an entity or a person who can log into the online system and question paper setter will take into consideration syllabus associated with particular topic or particular exam and if you want to uh, generate question paper for a particular semester then question paper setter will take into consideration syllabus difficulty level or target uh, students who are going to appear for the online exam. And then question paper setter will set the question paper using randomly selected questions from the pool of question bank readily available within the online system. So job of the question paper setter becomes very easy with the help of technology as all the questions are readily available in an encrypted format in an online system. So job of question paper setter is to define the exam syllabus as per the recommendation by the university or university registrar or examination committee. So question paper setter can define the question paper. So there can be multiple question paper setter for particular subject. So say if you are conducting exam for say subject economics, then you can define there will be three to four question paper setter associated with that uh, activity. And those three to four question paper setter can easily define the question paper within the system. 
so at the end of that activity you will have three to four question papers readily available within the online system next key activity associated with question paper generation is moderation of the question paper so in this case moderator is an entity or a person who can log into the system and who need to scrutinize or who need to verify the question papers defined by the question paper setter so if you consider subject economics where you already have four subjects four question papers readily available within the online system job of the moderator is to verify whether all those questions are defined according to syllabus or is there any kind of mistake or is there any kind of question that is out of syllabus if there is any kind of uh, such a mistake is available within the system the job of the moderator is to rectify that error and to correct that question paper and at the end of the moderation activity you will have 3 to 4 question papers readily available with moderation activity completed as soon as your question papers are defined by the moderator next key task is related to controller of the examination controller of the examination or co is an entity who can monitor entire activity within the online system so there is a central dashboard available for the controller of the examination who can keep track on number of question papers generated or number of question papers moderated by the moderators and is there any kind of lag happening or overall activity is happening as per the stipulated deadline associated with examination date and time so it becomes very easy for the controller of the examination to monitor entire activity associated with question paper generation next key task would be distribution of that question paper at the respective examination center so in this case we have provided a facility where platform will be able to send the sms to the designated physical exam center in charge so physical examination center in charge will receive one time password prior to start of the examination activity so if you consider your online uh, your exam activity is happening on say 30th of the uh, 30th of the month and the, at the 10 am so at uh, say 9 am that examination activity in charge will receive one time password associated with that question paper and that using that one time password that examination in charge can download the secure pdf associated with that question paper and that password can be entered by that uh, examination center in charge and uh, system will allow you to print the respective copies of those uh, physical question paper suppose 60 candidates are going to appear for the exam then system will allow to print only 60 question papers at the respective examination center so it will also help to reduce mal practices or improper or unauthorized distribution of the question paper outside the examination center using online technology you can save cost of distribution of the question paper at the respective examination center so in case of traditional scenario university need to manually print those question papers at the respective secure printing location and those need to be logistically or manually couriered at the respective exam centers in a secure manner so overall cost and logistical activities associated with entire activity are very high but if you are able to use online question paper generation as well as distribution then you will be able to save lot of cost associated with overall activity we have been working with some of the leading universities to simplify their question paper generation as well as distribution approach they are able to save substantial cost associated with overall management of the question paper generation as well as delivery of those question papers at the respective examination centers if you would like to understand best practices associated with question paper generation and distribution then you can connect with us for the demonstration purpose we will be more than happy to share with you best practices associated with question paper generation and distribution that will help you to save substantial cost associated with overall examination management